Hello, my name is Jacqueline Dunkley Bent and I'm the Chief Midwifery Officer for the NHS in England. I know that many of you are worried and concerned about being pregnant and birthing during these challenging times and I want to reassure you that your midwife is here for you and your maternity team. We join forces with Baby Body who have produced a series of videos that will remind you of some of the things that you need to look out for during your pregnancy. I can't stress enough that if you are concerned, please make contact with your maternity team and for more information about coronavirus and pregnancy, please access nhs.uk pregnancy and coronavirus. When you're pregnant, going to your midwife and doctor's appointments is vital. For Morgan, it may have saved her baby's life. When she found out she was pregnant, Morgan went to see her GP, who referred her for a midwife appointment. When I went to see the midwife for the first time, I was a bit nervous. I didn't really know what to expect. I thought that in pregnancy you just had scans. I didn't really think about that you'd see someone quite regularly. The first appointment with my midwife, I think they call it a booking appointment, um, and it does really seem like you're booking in for something. They do your height and weight, and you get given a book of notes, which is yours to have through your pregnancy. So it's just really helpful to go to that first appointment and get those notes and get an outline of what's to come. Um, they also do your blood pressure, which for me was really important. I have quite low blood pressure, so when they took it at my initial appointment, my midwife sort of outlined in my notes and told me so I knew what would be classed as high blood pressure for me. When I was 38 weeks, I woke up one morning and I had a really bad headache and I was really swollen everywhere. My face was swollen, my hands were swollen, and I was sort of in two minds whether I should even call anyone and see if anything was wrong. But something rang alarm bells in my head about swelling and headaches together. I remembered at an antenatal appointment my midwife talking about preeclampsia. I thought the best thing to do would be to call the maternity unit. When I went there, the midwives did some checks. They tested my urine. There was a bit of protein in there. The midwife was concerned that Morgan might have preeclampsia, a condition that can be life-threatening. She called in a doctor. So the consultant came to look at all the results from everything the midwife had done, and he spoke to me a bit about my blood pressure and that it wasn't alarmingly high, it wasn't out of the normal range that they would expect for blood pressure of a pregnant lady but I reminded him to look at my notes at my booking appointment and that my blood pressure is normally quite low. And he said, oh yes, your blood pressure is normally quite low, so actually this has been quite a big jump for you. Because Morgan had gone to all her appointments, she had the information she needed to make sure her preeclampsia was spotted early. She received the right treatment and gave birth to a healthy baby girl. For me, going to antenatal appointments gave me knowledge and understanding of pregnancy that I didn't have before, that I could have the care tailored to me that I needed. I think a lot of people worry about going to antenatal appointments, especially young parents. You're not sure what's going to happen at them. And I think that was a worry that I did think about. But then I was thinking about what was best for my baby and at the end of the day, it's worth it just to know that your baby's okay, to know that you're keeping healthy. Big cuddle. For more information on why going to your appointments can help avoid problems, watch the film called Antenatal Visits. What's the point? <laughs>